Hello everyone. I hope that we have reception here and that we have some ability to have a look. Very, very special evening today. Tonight I am broadcasting to you from Hi everyone. Hi Jorge. I'm broadcasting to you from Ayers Rock. How are we all? Tell me how are you? How things are going for you? I'm actually broadcasting from the hotel room because um, there isn't any room here. Um, it's kind of wild out there. So, yes. So tonight I'm trying. Can you hear me well? Can you hear me well on... Um, hi, Kerry. Can you hear me well on both um, Instagram? Ay, ay, ay. I hear you. Saporium. Um, yes. So, hello again from Uluru, from Ezrock. I hope that everything is well with you. Everything is going well. So my name is Sharon Tal and I'm the Soul Alchemist. And basically, um, we can't broadcast all the way from the rock and I can't broadcast. We had rain here today as well. And we walked today at Katajua, which is the... Um, there are three rocks. There is the Katajua, there is Uluru, and there is Mount Connor, known as well as Attila, actually. And there's an amazing story. So you know how in Melbourne we have the Seven Sisters Festival? Let me show you one of the amazing art that I bought. Um, yes, I am wearing shorts. Yes, it is. Um, it is. I want to share with you today what I had, an amazing ceremony. So... During one of the trips, the dinners that we had out, um, I met this beautiful lady named Penny. And look at this. And um, she, we went today, we went to do a special meditation next to the mountain. And um, it was pretty, pretty, pretty epically amazing. So first of all, let me show you the art, one of the little art. So... This is beautiful. So there are the mountains and the story about the seven sisters where there is evil men chasing after them and he wants to get them. But the older sister is saying, no, you cannot. And um, it's all about the chase. And apparently this story, thank you, this story is parallel for um, many, many cultures and part of the Orion and part of the um the the star constellation and they are amazing anyway that's that's like amazing want to see the other drawing the the other art that i got which is phenomenal it literally it called me so what happens when you are in a more of the how shall i say um natural primal energy you are Pleiadian thank you the Pleiadian constellation thank you Tamara I was thinking of you I was flying with some um, Dutch people um, what is happening is that messages and and information just comes download download downloads and it is pretty amazing look at this look at this art hi Eddie all of that and basically they have an, an amazing 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 artists here and <laughs> when we went to see Uluru when we went to see the viewing and the, the first evening I literally I saw it from the bus and I was like I, I told Delia I told my daughter that one and it I'm talking about five or six artists standing with all their um, art on the ground and um i just knew it called me so what happening when you are in thank you carrie 
what happens when you are in a very natural, very um, primal, primal as primal can be, energy, you're just acting straight from your intuition, straight from your energy. Um, so what happened to me today, we got up and it was really raining, 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 raining. And I know that Melbourne, my heart is with you. I'll be there in a couple of days. But I knew I had a mission here. And what happened was that I've been here 22 years ago, 22 and a bit years ago, July 2000. And um, that was when I kind of knew that I had to come back. I was trying to come back here now for two and a half years, but I couldn't. So when I got here and I put my hand on the rock, the words that I've, I've heard was, we are waiting for you. We were waiting for you. So then I've realized one of my jobs was as well to combine. This rock was one of the reasons that I actually stayed in Australia and didn't continue my trip around the world. And as you know, 23 years ago, I arrived to, to Australia. So that is the reason that I've actually stayed. So I knew that some of my energy needed to stay right here, right now. And I'm wearing this. This is what I came carry. This is of Auntie Vicky. So you all know how much I love, loved, love my Reiki master, Vicky. May she rest in peace. We know that she's resting in peace. And she brought this from the Lakota in, um, from America. And she said to me, then, I want you, Sharon, I want you to take it and meditate with that in, in the mountain. And that's what I was sitting and meditating um, 20 odd years ago. I knew I had to take it. And while Vicky was still alive, I said to her, because I attempted to come here three times, she said, you take it. Anyway, this is half of the version because she gave some to her grandchildren. This is mine, as my memory of it. So when I was actually wearing it and meditating with it, two pieces of thread fell from the end of it. And I knew it was supposed to be protection. Uh, this is a story. And I gave, I, I tied one for uh, Penny, my our new friend, and for Elia, my daughter. <coughs> the second time that I put my hand on the rock, and it's allowed, there are places that you're allowed to, don't worry. So I put my hand on the rock, and all I'm hearing is, free us. And I'm like, okay, who am I, who am I freeing? If you remember Kung Fu Panda, you can't just free everyone. You have to make sure that you're freeing the right one. But I could sense that the energy was to free the, the, the good that was stuck there and to balance. So I knew I had to balance. So I came here with my conch that I have, that found me, shall I say, in Hawaii, in the North Shore, and my shofar, which is the horn, the ram horn um, that I have got from Israel, from a very holy place at a very holy time that I was there. So I knew, well, as you can see, this is very feminine, might remind you of something, and this is very masculine, might remind you of something. And this is where I needed to merge the yin and the yang. Hence today, it's about the yin and the yang. So then I took it and I will, I will probably put up snippets of what I have done there today with the ceremony. Continuing to speak, I said, I heard a snake will try to stop you. And I'm like, okay. And I've asked Penny, are there any snakes here? And she's like, yeah, there haven't been so many now, blah, blah, blah. Absolutely right. Thank you so much. Continuing to the next walking site, I'm like, I heard again snakes. As I turn, as we walk on the path, a three meter snake was coiled, yet ready to charge, had a little red, yellow head. 
Elia gave it the scream of her life, so it's probably <laughs> screamed away, gone away. But we just walked very fast forward. And I knew that what I was about to do was super epic, was humongous. So I was wearing this. The girl had their protection, so I knew that everything will be right. Yet I needed to do the merging between the yin and the yang, the masculine and the feminine. The female is the vessel to receive and the male is giving. So the same way as the little water trickled, like the waterfall trickled down, it needed to have somewhere to receive it. Okay? And that is where the yin and the yang, the masculine and the feminine, has to be connected in such a strong way that if they are not, they will be imbalanced. If the man is too strong and dominant, it is breaking the woman. If the woman is too soft, the man can walk all over her. Yet if she is too strong, then she can affect the men and vice versa. So what we need is we need a man that is wanting to protect, to hold, to support the woman. And we need the woman who wants to nourish and to feed and to support. So he hunts and she makes it. She doesn't need to go and fight a buffalo or something or kangaroo or any animal. Depends where you are at. Because it's not the women power. Can she do it? 100%. If you'll need to, of course. But in regular... And I'm talking origin because now we all go to the supermarket or to the butcher or to the market and that's what it is. But I'm talking about the olden days. I'm talking about where community is important, where we are sitting together. And I'm currently translating a seminar, A Woman Whom Is a Queen, by my teacher, Chagit Rabi. And the fascination that I have within the the, the, the translation of it is how much we need to be, there is so much strength in being soft. You don't have to go and be equal power. Your equal power is by doing and giving the best, which is the intuition, which is the wisdom, which is the planning, while the men will go and execute it and make it happen. You can say, I want this house. I want this beautiful house. You don't have the physical power to lift all this wood. You can design a machinery for it, but basically it has to be both. Can you do everything? Of course. Can he do everything? Of course. But does it need to be everything? No. Each one will do their best, and that's it. Both of my sisters are really good cooks, and one of them is a little bit more dominant. One of them is not as dominant. And um, let's just say that in my last trip in Israel, and I can be, believe it or not, I can be a bit dominant, right? <laughs> but in Israel, when I was there, it basically was her kitchen. It didn't bother me. I was like, sis, whatever you want, tell me, I'll be your sous chef. It will just be faster. So I was the chopping, I was this. She was responsible for everything. Beside, if anyone will cook different than what my father wants, we're, we're, going to, we're all going to hear about it. So, basically, is it dark? Can you see me here? Let me see if I can put some more lights. So, basically, I have... Um, yes. So, basically, you're not losing your power by, by not doing everything. You are just picking what do you need to do, what can you do. Let's say even with two men or two women, who is the who does numbers, who does action, who does um, who who builds better? I need I can build any IKEA freedom or whatever. You just look at the at the um, <laughs> at the instructions. Does that make sense? Do you have any questions? So let me repeat that when we are talking about the yin and the yang, we're not talking about strong or weak. We are talking what is your strength and what is your weakness. I can't see Attila the Han, the strong person, holding a little thread or a little 
you know, needle and a, and a thread to start to sew the pants. Rather give that to someone who has better skills. Does that make sense? It doesn't make the man weaker or the woman stronger. It just means I do this better, you do this better. doesn't matter. Does that make sense? And this is where I ask you to find what is your strength? What are you good at? What you're less good at? And if whether someone else can do it for you, with you, as and I guess once that you're connected to your true power, to your true gift, the world is your oyster. For those who are thinking, hmm, I actually brought my candle. I've created some travel candles. So I have the candle wherever I am. And this is oh so important. Probably the people who clean the room <laughs> think this is like a sacrificial center with a horn, with a shell with this with that but that's okay any questions so far well actually in my book it's in the chapter the sun and the moon um and by the way let me know if any of you is interested to join to this coming course it's supposed to start next week my gut feeling is telling me that it's not but again it's okay and um, it will probably start a little bit after that. Um, a week or two after that. So the sun and the moon is actually lesson 21 in my book. 28 lessons in self-mastery. And the sun is the masculine. And the moon is the feminine. So during the day, men during the night woman how do we connect it sunrise will always still have the moon and sunset or the night will still have some form of the sun so we need to connect to that union in a very loving way in a very supportive way so how will you support each other and you know, every time that I fly, no matter how many clouds are out there, the sky is always blue. The sun is always shining. So always know that there is sun there. So what happens when we are balancing? If, okay, let me ask you, uh, if you're not driving, if you can close your eyes and just tell me, do you feel that your masculine and feminine are in balance? Do you feel that you are more masculine or more feminine? Are you more about action, 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 but you're not stopping to think about it? Or are you reflecting too much and you're not doing enough? Give me an answer. Write to me. Are you more masculine? Are you more feminine as well with the way that you look, with the way that you dress? Are you more masculine or are you more feminine? Or do you feel that there is a balance? Write to me. Let me know. And it's amazing. It's amazing what you see when you are. So more masculine, more feminine. Is it balanced with you? Do you feel that you have more light? Do you feel that you have more dark? Cherie, you are balanced. You see, you're a Gemini as well. So you have two twins. One of them is this. One of them is that. Amazing. What about Tamara? Masculine, more masculine. Okay, so where is that reflection? Where is that going within? That is part of that. Who else? Write to me. You're more masculine, more feminine. Are you balanced? And you know, the sun can shine. And if, you're sh if your light is shining too strong, they can put sunglasses on. Your aim as well is not to fight the dark. Your aim, if you're from the light, right, is to amplify your light. Okay, so PMC, what is your name? Masculine, but trying to soften into my feminine seat. You see, the feminine seat is in your heart, is in your soul, is in your energy. So that is the difference. 
Penny. <laughs> this is Penny, my friend. Thank you, Penny. Um, connecting and putting your hand on your heart will bring that energy back. So when you are connecting through that heart of yours, you will not um, you will not change it. Leah, I feel that my balance is getting better. As I noticed years ago, I was more feminine and not appreciating my masculinity. Opa, hang on. But you're getting there. Of course you're getting there. As soon as you're realizing that there is some form of difference, then you can make the change. So when people say ignorance is bliss, it's not always the case. It is not always the case. It's about you allowing yourself to shift that energy to wherever you need. Because sometimes you do need to get the dream time. You know, the American Indian story about the lizard is that a lizard was sitting, leaning in the sun, enjoying, reflecting, doom, 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 and a snake slithered its way in. And the lizard didn't move. So he tells her, hello, Miss Lizard. Why aren't you moving? What's happening? She said, well, you, while you think that I'm just sitting here in the sun doing nothing, I've actually went into dream time. And in my dream time, I saw that you already had a mouse this morning and you're not hungry, so it's safe for her to stay there. But if the snake was there looking for food, she would have gone from there. Does that make sense? So, Penny, why do you think that the snake had shown itself today? Write it. So, when we are looking um, in the exercise for my book, The 28 Lessons in Self-Mastery, you can't have the sun without the moon. You can't have the moon without the sun. And everything is connected. And the yin and the yang. And even if you will look at the yin, there's a bit of yang. Even if you look at the yang, there's a bit of yin. And as you are connecting and shifting the energies, we all need of both. So as lovely Penny is writing here, the snake was trying to prevent today's ceremony. But I knew that's it. It just had to happen. I'm still, I'm goose bumping while I'm talking that to you. Because nothing can stop the light. It might be cloudy, it might be raining, it might be flooding, but it cannot be stopped. It can try to be delayed. So our aim is to expand the light. And once that you're expanding the light, that's it. And I just knew it. And I said it randomly or not to Penny on a dinner two days ago. And it was like, I know what to do. Boom. That's all it was supposed to be. You put it out there. You put it out there and you receive. So what is it that you would like to ask for? The one ask that you can do is to ask to be aligned. Remember, you think with your head, you feel with your heart, you sense with your gut, but you know with your soul. So what is one thing that you know what is one thing that cannot be taken from you? What is the purpose? What is the next step? Forget full on purpose. What is the next step? I need to get to the next one, to the next one. One of the most amazing thing I'm reading now, I'm rereading a book from uh, Robin Sharma, you know, the monk that sold his Ferrari. So I'm reading notes of, it's the second or third book after. And no matter what it is, it's step by step by step. And even if you don't know what's the meaning, trust. Trust the creation. Trust God. Trust the energy to give you what you need to be given. And that is where your energy is shifting. Your energy is connecting to its source. So the more shells, the more layers that you will let go of, the more energy that you'll be able to absorb. 
So are you ready to receive your messages? Are you ready to receive the energy that belongs to you? And once that you are connecting to what is your mission, everyone will help you. Everyone will help you. Even the person that I was supposed to come and be here two and a half years ago is not in my life anymore, which is awesome. It is what it is. I mean, it's sad, but it won't stop me from getting to where I need to get. And coming here with my daughter and seeing her rite of passage, her perhaps seeing what is really happening and how the energies are there, it's her journey. I can just accommodate it. I can just facilitate it. And that is the difference. So, you know, being in the dark, and depends what the dark is, or what your definition of the dark, the dark can be the womb of the mother. We came within the void, within the dark. There's nothing wrong with the dark, as long as it's not evil. So a lot of people confuse as well the light and the dark with evil and and purity there is can be a lot of purity within the dark the dark is the lack of light but you can't have light everywhere but you can have the goodness everywhere does that make sense it is your choice you know psalm 23 even if i walk in the valley of death i shall not fear because god is with you god is within you the word breath in Hebrew, neshima, is made from the word neshama, which is the soul, and the letter yud of Yahweh, of God Almighty. Without God, without that energy, there is no breath. How does your body live without a breath? It cannot. So when you die, you take your last breath, goes back. Go back home, wherever home is. Does that make sense? Do you have any questions? Any questions, anyone? So today the ceremony that we have conducted was about bringing the power of the yin and the yang, about combining these energies. And this this one, this blanket has sat a few times in a sweat lodge. And from my point of view, this it was like taking Vicky again with me, with her blessing, with her joy. And she is my Reiki master and so on and so on and so on. And whomever I have attuned and initiated for Reiki will be enjoying this blessing as well because it comes and it goes. So it's a whole stream, you know. You're always calm in the dark because there's nothing to be afraid of the dark. Evil, though, you just spray the light and then you can see it. And then you have a choice of what you can and want to do with that. Does that make sense? So again, are you more masculine or you're more feminine? And then how can you bring it? So even with, the, with our palms, one of the, um, I guess, exercises that you can do is to take all your feminine on the left or your masculine in the right and then put them together so even when you do this even when you do this part of gratitude you're combining your yin and your yang you're combining your masculine and feminine and then when you're moving your hands a little bit, you can still feel the warmth because it's always connected. This morning, it was a trip, uh, 4.40, we were picked up AM and it was freezing. It was freezing, freezing because after all, it is a desert here, right? And um, this lady, after the, like, we've done a little walk to one of the outlooks and it was freezing and her hand was frozen and me miss personal heater i just put my hands on her hand and she's like how 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 is it so hot <laughs> i'm like reiki hands and it was that's what it is because you keep your own energy to yourself and you connect to yourself so it is pretty amazing do you have any questions or shall we go to some readings 
Oh, actually, I do have one more thing. The remedy, the elixir for the week is I am at peace. So I am at peace is to calm your adrenals, to calm your nervous system, to calm and balance your cortisol. I am not claiming to make any claims. <laughs> I am at peace is about, listen to this one. This one, to balance out the fight or flight response in order to feel at peace within oneself and the world. Hola, querida Catarina. Um, if you ever say, I'm uncomfortable in myself, I'm uncomfortable within myself, I can't relax, I'm not at peace with myself, I'm not at peace with the world, um, I just want to feel at ease. So the affirmation is, I'm now connected Listen to this one. I am now connected to my true purpose and soul mission in this lifetime. I now release and overcome all obstacles on a mortal and immortal, earthly and ethereal plane. It is safe for me to achieve my goals with my own internal approval. I am now aligned and feel at peace with my soul on all levels and dimensions and one of the things that we saw today is how many extraterrestrials i don't even know how to say that how many ets are out there how many entities are there how many and that is fine live and let live just make everything connected so i'm taking this for you guys and for myself so you take seven drops Hang on. And if you have as well animals, or if you feel that your animals are in anxiety or stress or under fight, flight, freeze, so it's good for rescue animals. So it has, um, it has a few ingredients in it that can shift the energy. So even has coffee in it which remind me I didn't have one today and now it's too late basically what it will do it will calm your fight flight and freeze and it will shift the energy to give it all Natalie you're watching us remember that I fulfilled what I needed to do so today by wearing this by the way at the ceremony I brought all my Reiki masters with me. I have created that full legacy connection, honoring them for the past, present, and future. And this is what you always have to remember. It's not about you. It's about everything that is connecting to it. And once that you are connected with these energies are shifting. Okay, so I am at peace. Tomorrow we will put a post about it already received the message for that and thank you justin for doing it for me all right so this is my deck of cards from survive to thrive who would like a card let us read a card so you can get that either from my website or from other sites website or come to the clinic it is awesome perfect gift 74 empowerment cards that will shift your energy and will connect so if you want a card just say me please that's it yes please love your manners okay let us shift it let me just palo santo it here we go here we go here we go any questions by the way, if you have any questions, let's do this. All right. So, all right. Let us start with Insta. I think last week was Facebook. So let's see who is here. Hi, Joanna. Joanna, well, 
You came last, but you jumped first. So your card is enlightenment. So these cards, by the way, will balance your energies. And with affirmation, will move you from survive to thrive. Okay? So enlightenment. So say with me, Joanna. And by the way, when you do get the card, like you get a whole booklet with inf extra information. But here on the live, that's what we're doing. I am in the light. I am the light. I now share the light. And that is that. Um, Tamara, you're the next one. Tamara, your card is brave and reconnect to life. So I am now willing, ready and able to step out of my comfort zone. It is safe for me to reconnect to life. It is safe for me to reconnect to life. Amazing. Um, Tash, the card for you is melancholy. So there's a little bit of sadness there. I now choose to lift my sadness and fill myself with joy. Let me give you another one just to see where it is. Encouraged. And that is the card, encouraged. I now feel encouraged and excited about living my life to its fullest potential. Okay? And that will shift the energy. Catherine, your card. Catherine, there's some form of hopelessness there. I now choose to trust. Maybe someone annoyed you or wasn't in the right energy. I now choose to trust. Even if I can't see it, there is hope. I am hopeful. Even if I can't see it, there is hope. I am hopeful. Okay, moving on. Charmaine. Charmaine photo. Thank you, Facebook, for being patient. Um, Charmaine, your card is depressed yet determined. I am now willing, ready, and able to do my absolute best at any given moment. And that's all you need. Just do your absolute best at any given moment. And if your absolute best is about 5-7% currently, amazing. That will change later. Does that make sense? Okay, Penny, a card for you. Penny, the card for you is rejection, yet accepted. So I am now willing, ready, and able to accept myself. And might I add, and my gift. I am now willing, ready, and able to accept myself and my gifts. Okay, makes sense. Um, Anna, your card is self-blame. What's happening here today? <clears throat> Need to raise the vibration, people. Self-blame. I am now willing, ready, and able to have love for myself and others. To have love for myself and others. The next card for you, Anna, the same. Back to life. Start to come back to life with the energy. I am now safe and back to life. So when we are in the stress, sorry, we might blame ourselves or others. But hey, they are just mirrors of each other. And that is where we need to shift it. Okay. Um, Stelp, Ash. Mark, stay with us. So... Kate, no, sorry, Stelp, your card is fulfilled. Your card is fulfilled. I am now willing, ready, and able to live in my fullest expression of myself. I am now willing, ready, and able to live in my full expression of myself. Amazing. Kate, Kate Lego, your card is embrace. It's about embracing I am now willing, ready, and able to embrace my mind, thoughts, and feelings into all positive expression, which makes it really, really amazing. Is there anyone else on Insta that wanted a card? Moving to Facebook family here. Hello, hello. Who would like a card here? So, um, Leah, a card for you. Leah, your card is self-love. 
Your card is self-love. I am now willing, ready, and able to express my self-love at any given moment. Okay? Um, I am now willing, ready, and able to express my self-love at any given moment. Amazing. Um, Natalie. Oof, and Vicky is here. The three of you here. I have here three generation for and of Vicky. Natalie, opening up. I am now willing, ready, and able to create new pathways that fulfill me. So Natalie, perhaps you need to explore what is it that you're doing? Do you really need to do everything that you do? Or can you just enjoy what you are doing and support what you are doing without doing too much and getting stressed about it? Because the most important thing is your breath. You can't breathe, you can't even talk. You can't talk, you can't make a difference. So pick your word wisely. Carrie, the card for you is, Carrie, are you a little bit burdened? So I now let go of the heavy burden. I feel light and free. I'm giving you another card. Oof, double red, timid. I am now safe and secure. Carrie, has there been anything there that has been challenging you? We need to shift it. Let's shift it by releasing that you're feeling trapped. What is it? I no longer feel trapped. I am now free to shine my light. Those are the cards from Survive to Thrive by yours truly. Mark, are you still with us? Let us give you a card. The card for you, Mark. And if you need a good real estate agent in the area of Caulfield, this is Mark Kirkham for you. Um, heart center. I am now willing, ready, and able to connect myself and the world through my heart. Okay? You connect through your heart, and that is perfect. Francis, one for you and one for me. I thought you'll never ask, darling. So a card for Francis is abundance. Your card, Francis, is abundance. I am now proud of my achievements and am full of gratitude for my wonderful life. Abundance is everywhere. Abundance is everywhere. How epically amazing is that? And then a card for myself. Stressed. What am I stressed about? Let me see. I am now cool, calm, and collected. So I'll take another card. Wanting to change. Indeed, wanting to change. I now realize that change is important to my evolution. It is safe to change. So for me, it will be going back to 23 years ago when I arrived to Uluru for the first time. And now I can just continue to do what really needs to be done. Alana, would you like a card, darling? Alana, the card for you is regeneration. My cells are now regenerating to full capacity on all levels and dimensions. Amazing. Anyone else would like a card? Anyone else feels that they need or they have a question? So today we spoke about the yin and the yang, the balancing. Do you like me to blow the conch for you? Will they kick me out of the hotel? I don't care. Would you like? Say yes or give me thumbs up if you do. Elena, Yasu, where have you been? Elenika, don't feel scattered. I now collect all my scattered pieces and move into clarity. I am united within myself. That's the important bit. I'll give you another card there. There you go. Belonging. I now belong. I no longer long for love. I am love. Okay. And who else wanted a card? Hang on. It's DB. Who is DB? <laughs> we'll do that quickly. And then I'll blow the conch. It's DB. Your card is unmotivated motivated i am now willing ready and able to be motivated and bring the spark back into my life okay all right let us blow i'll do the female first and then we will do 
the horn. How's that, huh? So with permission from Great Spirit, from God, from the spirit of this place, I would like to support and help in the balance of the yin and the yang of whomever is watching it, if they choose to, because we all have free will, to connect and to do. Balance their yin and yang, balance their light and dark, balance them into perfect doing and perfect resting as needed, when needed. May we all be connected and allowing ourselves to be in line and in touch with all that is happening for us. The I am at peace will help you to regenerate the cells in order to do that. That's going to be my elixir for the week. Um, listen to those instructions and see what can happen. All right. So let us do this. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Sol the Virgo. <laughs> All right. I'm so sorry. I'm just thinking of all the rooms here. I'm going to do it again. It's not my house in Caulfield. Merging together, being at peace, loving you so much, connecting. Of course you were thinking the same, Alana. Oh my God. So similar. I am at peace. It is so amazing. I love you all. And I'm wishing you really, really, really the best. And um, I love you heaps. Natalie, I did your card. Any questions or anything? Feel free always to connect with me. I'm very approachable, very there. Um, and I'm wishing you the best. I'm coming back to Melbourne on Saturday and trying to see whatever I can do. Today's Thursday. Tomorrow I'll do a, a helicopter ride and hope for the best, you know. So again, I want to wish you all the best. Sonia, you're always coming an hour too late. Do that. Watch the life. Um, I love you heaps and I want to send you all, all, all the best. Greetings from Uluru, from Ayers Rock, from the beautiful red country that is here. And I love you all. Take care. Be well.